So, ladies and gentlemen, let me inform you now about the astrological magic of October. Not every month uh, I'm doing astrological talismans and I'm sharing with you this information only when relevant. Now, October and November will not be with these eclipses. They won't be appropriate for creation of any talismans. So I uh, am happy that in November I will have opportunity for, for, for three very good elections, which I'll be sharing with you now. I will show you my screen and I will give you my reasoning why these elections are so good. This is one. Now to people who are new to my channel, just briefly to explain with two words, what are the astrological talismans? This is true ancient Babylonian and before the Babylonian times knowledge, which is hidden in the cuneiform tablets of the Babylonian um, um, and Sumerian writing system. I, it is not a modern knowledge. You will see in the excavations, um, if you follow the, the Roman uh, jewelry and the gemstones, you will see um, different natural, always natural and untreated gemstones, some of them with carved images. And these were not just gemstones, these or, or um, pieces of beautiful, amazing jewelry. These, uh, these were pieces of talismans which are made either to enhance uh, a planet which is weak in the horoscope or to help us achieve what we want to or for protection mainly actually uh, for protection so of course they were a uh, combination between natural unheated untreated gemstone because you can see now on the markets very shiny uh, beautiful gemstones all of them are treated it's it's very hard to find uh, stones which are not treated or irradiated or dyed. So I started buying rocks and bringing to local lapidary when they cut the stones for me so that I don't fall in this trap of the treated stones. So stone, gem, natural gemstone, then it is the metal who has to be uh, precious, uh, gold or silver. And then of course it is the herbs and the you know, essential oils and the, and the ritual, the priesthood ritual, which was applied for the invocation of the planetary or the star spirit in order to create the talisman, which is made by the way, only in a very appropriate astrological timing, following the sidereal astronomical zodiac, when the planet or the star are benevolent, because they can be malefic and highly dignified. So let's say one planet, one star, I'll go, the Medusa, which is so much used even from the moderns for uh, creation of protective talismans or amulets. The star has heliacal phases and you can see the star highly dignified, but if you don't know the phase, you can create a talisman which can, which can bring even troubles very serious troubles to the person. So I mean, it's a combination of factors for the creation of the astrological uh, magical talisman, which is with my experience already for since I think 2017 of creation of talismans, I can tell you these things work and help tremendously. So this month, um, we have three elections. One I'm making for the first time. So I'm also curious how this will, what um, will be uh, the results, but they should be very powerful because we're talking about the royal star. Now on the sky, we have these four royal stars, uh, Aldebaran, Intorus, uh, Sc um, Antares in Scorpio, Fomo Houtin, Aquarius, and Regulus in Leo. These four royal stars, they form the cross, this is the, these are the four archangels, these are the four animals, these are the, this is the cross of the, the powerful cross of Christianity and also other cultures um, and religions and philosophies. So Antares is the star in the stomach of the celestial scorpion. Antares is the star of the army leader, extremely powerful, powerful star, very scorpionic, very potent. Now, um, I've been doing talismans from out for Aldebaran, Regulus, they turned to be very good. Now I will be making um, 
a talisman of interest. I will read you what Hermes is saying. Now, according to him, this talisman is made for protection and destruction of demons and enhancing mental and intellectual qualities. And because um, this star is a star of um, a royal star, a star of the army leader, which has the nature of Jupiter Mars conjunction, it is also a star of power and luck. And even Hermes also says, quoted by Anubio, that when you have one of these four royal stars on a key position in your horoscope, the blessing of the native is multiplied. So let me share my screen with you to show you my, how my election looks like. Seems to be very good. Um, share screen, all right. So look, this is the horoscope of this election. 15 degrees uh, uh, sidereal Scorpio. The moon is conjoined these degrees and it is happening on, um, on uh, uh, this particular position receives sextile from Sun, Mars, Mercury, and sextile from Saturn, Jupiter, very protective, and Venus and Ketu are also in Scorpio. And we know that Ketu is like exalted in Scorpio. And the Almuten of the day, which means the ruler of the day, is Venus. A very benevolent, very powerful position. Uh, all sextiles, not even one malefic, not even one malefic influence. So I'll be applying the, the herbs, the um, well, um, and all these rules which I just mentioned. And this is of today, 10th of, um, 10th of uh, October. The next one is very, very important. It is about on the 18th, the moon, um, talismans, moon receives trine from Venus, sextile from Saturn and Jupiter. This is uh, moon in Pisces. The moon in Pisces is like exalted because why? We know that the, the first appearance of the lunar crescent on the first day of the year is happening always statistically for our era in Pisces. The moon is like exalted in Pisces, extremely powerful. Then this is on the 18th, happening, it will be happening on the 18th of October. And on the 24th of October, we are having um, Mercury, his first appearance. Look, Mercury in the 11th house, the house of the good spirit. Then we have Mercury, Almutan ruling the day, ruling everything, ruling the hour, ruling of the horoscope. And trined by Moon in Aldebaran, look extremely powerful, sixed out by Venus very good election, trying by Saturn Jupiter. Then I'll be uh, consecrating the um, Mercurian talismans on October 24. There is one, this is very, this is quite rare to get Mercury exalted and visible at the same time and in such good uh, position. And already Mars is out of the game. See, he's not in, uh, in Virgo. So this is quite good, totally no. Uh, now I will be making also Saturn talismans, but because of there, it is on the 23rd of October, I didn't attach here the horoscope. Saturn is very, very uh, interesting. I will have separate announcement only for him because he, the Lord of Karma, the Lord of our days, he deserves special attention. But anyhow, on the 23rd of uh, October, I'll make Saturn talismans when he will be already direct, very benevolent, um, to help us what? To ease up, ease down for us this heavy Saturn influences and to ease the, the karmas, to give us some sort of, um, well, relief. But the, the rule for having talisman of Saturn is to follow moral values, not to deviate from the truth. Otherwise, such talisman can turn against us. But okay, I will make, especially for him, I decided to give special attention and I'll make special announcement. Now, thank you for your attention. And soon um, you'll hear from me about all these other interesting celestial aspects like the direct motion of, of um, not the, the first visibility of Mercury, very important for us. The first visibility of, um, of Mars, very important. 
these are important events. So see you soon. Thank you for your attention.